This baby box turtle is only a few months old. It has a soft, pliable shell, and it's barely an inch and a half in length. It has to go through several life stages before achieving adulthood, if it's lucky enough to get there. This is the life cycle of the box turtle. At this earliest stage of life, these long-lived vertebrates have muted coloration, and that's so that they can blend in with the forest floor, which is their primary habitat. Pine needles, fallen leaves, and other forest litter are what this turtle needs to stay hidden as much as possible. And believe it or not, they will stay hidden nearly 90% or even more of the time to evade predation. But at between the ages of one to four years, the animal is now a juvenile. And you can see here the animal's shell is more fully formed. Although not solid bone yet, it is still primarily cartilage and keratin, the same stuff that makes up our hair and nails. But the animal is starting to develop more coloration and starting to venture out a little bit more. So it's not staying as hidden as much as a hatchling would, but it is certainly not venturing out as much as a fully grown adult would. And another interesting thing to point out here is this little animal has already survived some pretty harsh odds. Because if you look here in the front of the shell, something already tried to make a meal out of this animal. Most likely a rodent of some species chewed or gnawed on this turtle's shell. But he escaped that sad, sad fate and is now back to growing as this injury has healed. This turtle looks to be at about two years of age, but for at least the next two years, it'll still be in the juvenile phase, even though it'll put on considerable size. And they will put on several growth rings in a single season, but depending on the year, will determine how long this turtle stays at such a small size. If it's a cooler year, or a drier year, or even a hotter year, the turtle may remain more inactive, which means it will not grow as much as an animal in an environment that is experiencing more rainfall, more favorable temperatures overall, and maybe a shorter winter. So that brings us to the point that counting the annuli or growth rings on a turtle's carapace, and that goes for any species, is actually not a foolproof way to determine its actual age. Because this little box turtle, if he or she is going through a good year, could put on multiple rings, maybe three, maybe four, maybe even five, if he or she is getting to eat that much. Being primarily carnivorous at this small stage of life, the animal takes in a high portion of protein. This enables it to grow a bit faster, again, in a given year that is favorable, and it will help it to get past these earlier fragile stages of life, even the juvenile stage, which eventually brings it to subadulthood. At this stage of life, the animals are becoming accepting of other food items. So although they may always prefer things like invertebrates and animal matter, they are now eating fruits, mushrooms, and even some plant matter. The animal size has really filled out. The growth rings are many, again depending on the season, but now the colors and the markings begin to reveal what the turtle is going to look like as a full grown adult. And this greatly contrasts how it once looked because it's this muted coloration that allowed this animal its first major shot at survival, long before the shell turned to solid bone, long before it was able to use the plastral hinge to help it further protect itself from predation, this animal used its drab markings and muted color to stay hidden in the forest floor. And because box turtles have a relationship with water as well, meaning they can swim, submerge, and burrow into deep mud, this coloration also helps them in that way. This was how this animal got its first start at life. And if this animal is lucky enough to survive all earlier stages of life, it will blossom into a beautiful adult box turtle. The Eastern box turtle is by far the most diverse of the North American box turtle species and subspecies when it comes to its colors and markings. Yellows, oranges, whites, reds, and even blues are present in this amazingly diverse animal. As these animals enter adulthood, they start venturing out more and more. And thanks to our human encroachment, which we have already capitalized on their natural habitat, they wander into what we consider to be our areas, often crossing 
into farmland or, of course, across dangerous roadways. And although the turtle shell is solid bone at this point in life, it is no match for a moving vehicle. The beginning of this very turtle's life likely began anywhere between 17 and 20 years ago, if not more, as she is what would be considered a young adult female. You can tell by the pronounced growth annuli on her carapace scoots. When these animals really age, the shell becomes bowling ball smooth, and there is literally no way to see any of the growth annuli at that point. It's rare for a box turtle to make it to such a ripe old age in today's world, but many of them have found a way to survive, even with us being everywhere at every moment. These turtles move into human inhabited areas because even though they have a limited home range, sometimes only a few miles, they need to find suitable areas for foraging, breeding, and egg laying. The month of June in the Northeast is a particularly treacherous month for female Eastern box turtles because those are the days and nights that they are in search of a nesting area. It's when they often cross roads or find themselves coming in contact with farm equipment or just a curious human being. If the eggs are successfully laid, they will hatch in the fall and the babies will emerge with the first of the fall rains. If they don't hatch in time before winter, they will actually overwinter in the nest and emerge in the spring. Box turtles are incredibly long-lived reptiles capable of making it to more than 100 years of age, but even when they become adults, the dangers of life are not over. This little hatchling right here represents only between three and five individuals that may hatch in a single clutch, and box turtles typically only lay one clutch of eggs in a single season. They may even take the next year off, so it's crucial for this species to be protected to a point where these hatchlings have a shot at life because only a small, small percentage of them actually make it to adulthood. But this hatchling has everything it needs out here. It has the forest floor, it has all the natural food items it can eat, and it knows how to protect itself. So with a little bit of luck and a little bit of hope, maybe one day we'll be running into this little baby as a full blown, beautiful adult. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out this one next.